Hello to everyone. I will try to make it short, so because we are uh, quite tired and we just want to, or we prefer to talk with a colleague besides that again listening to another presentation. So I'm going just to go over the dissemination results of our project Diversify. Since the beginning, uh, we have tried to make all the results available in the uh, website. And I really mean it that it was from day one that they want, we wanted to really broadcast all our activities to everyone interested, all stakeholders, farmers, industry, the society in general. And this has been the purpose that has driven our... Uh, sorry? Ah, I thought someone was asking something. Okay, so the uh, objectives of our dissemination work package were these uh, five objectives, very clear, to disseminate the knowledge that was generated from all the work that, uh, that was being done, not only to the scientific community, but also in general to the aquaculture sector. Also, through this dissemination of results, we were trying to implement that the new methods and protocols or products that were developed in the project were really uh, going to the, to the farm. Um, another important uh, uh, objective of dissemination was to enhance the awareness of uh, how important it is to diversify in, uh, in aquaculture and uh, making effort specially directed to the food industry and consumers organization. And you just heard before Louise and Hema explaining all this, uh, all this work. Also, of course, provide documented information not only on the basis of scientific articles, which it has been done, but also uh, general and popular uh, magazines where we have been sending our information. And of course, not only to be able to produce fish, but also promote investment to sell the fish, which is uh, the final goal. The dissemination task, we have uh, seven important dissemination tasks, although there is a lot of work in each of them. I'm not going to go in too much detail because uh, we have been doing a lot of things, but just go through the main things. The first one, and very important, our NICE logo. I think all of you agree with me that we have a lovely logo. So this is, this is thanks to Carl André, Carl André from, from ITA, and this logo has evolved later on when we added our motto, new species for EU aquaculture, and since then we are uh, combining the name of the project, the nice uh, tail logo, and our sentence. One of these uh, first tasks from the work package uh, 31 was to have a first folder. The idea with this first folder was to present the project. And with this we wanted to uh, uh, disseminate the uh, main uh, points of the project, like uh, which ones is the main aim of the project, what do we expect to get out of that project, why did we cho choose those species, and of course the list of partners. This folder has been distributed all over uh, Europe and the world, I would say, because um, we have been uh, always carrying these folders wherever we have been present, and I think Everyone then uh, going to aquaculture conference should have one folder in, in his house from Diversify. Also, we made these bookmarks that were very handy and uh, yeah, they were very wanted because uh, they are, apart from handy, very beautiful with nice pictures. And this has been also distributed in all the aquaculture conferences. We have now the second folder that is just fresh, that you have it on your uh, on your desk, uh, on your table. And uh, in this second folder, what we have done this time is after five years of work and results, it was really a tremendous work to summarize such an amount of results in I think it's 120 words or 125 words. So we were asking first like 500 words because we knew it was very difficult to have just like you have there four paragraphs, and then we, uh, uh, Dinos and me, we made a selection there and really tried to condensate very well the results. 
Um, I hope you like it. I, I think also uh, the, um, the colors, the, the pictures, and everything that is included makes the, this second folder a very nice uh, brochure to be distributed and uh, presenting the project. And of course, our website. I think this is uh, uh, quite an important tool that we have in, uh, in Diversify. And uh, I was commenting before with someone that uh, one a very grateful comment we got in one of the species workshops were people from the sector, from the industry, saying that they were very happy to have the, the Diversify web because they were always updated with everything that we were doing. That was really a very important task for us that uh, we have always, at least once or twice per month, we were uploading information in the web. Of course, we could have put more information, but at least we were trying to bring always the different things that we were busy with. Well, we had in the last six months an average of uh, 300, uh, 500, sorry, 500 visits. Maybe it's not much if you compare it with the website of Beyoncé or one of these guys, but for us, I think it's quite okay. Just to go very fast on this, uh, on this website, it's here in the news where we normally post the, the last things. Here you have this uh, um, Aquaculture Europe magazine compilation where uh, we have all the publications from Diversify, also the breakthrough with the uh, larval reading of wreckfish, with a, a couple of videos also. Um, one, uh, this is just an image of the Atlantic Halibut uh, Species Workshop, but all of them are included there and uh, in, an, in the web. Uh, another important tab of the website is the dissemination tab. There you can find, um, among other things, Three important uh, tabs that I would like to go in more detail, especially the one of Aquaculture Europe magazine that I will get a bit into more detail. And later on, promotional workshops and the species workshops, they are two tasks on their own, so we will see it separately. With the Aquaculture Europe magazine, we started in 2014 with an article where we were just presenting the project again, once more, saying what we expect to, uh, to get, where do we go. Um, in general, it was an explanation of the beginning of the project. We are starting to work. Then, in every issue of the Aquaculture Europe magazine, there was an article of Diversify, one for each of the Diversify species, also an extended article, and uh, in the last uh, issue, we even have two publications uh, from Diversify, one about the gray mullet, and the other one about uh, the first Diversify wreckfish juveniles. So in total, we have nine publications that are compiled in the magazine that you have also on your desk. Um, of course, everything is available in the website. So if uh, whatever you want to consult from these uh, previous issues, you can consult it in the web. Then the second task, important, the annual coordination meetings. We started in, uh, in Crete with quite a, a challenging trip. I don't know, some of you were in that plane <laughs> that... Uh, was making very difficult to start with the project. It was a hard start. Eh? <laughs> so, and after that, we went to Bari uh, the same year, 2014. In 2015, we didn't meet. Then in uh, uh, February, we meet in France, then in Barcelona, then in Tenerife, and now here we are in Brussels to end our project. Um, all the presentations from uh, this uh, from, uh, from these meetings are uploaded in the website and you can find it there. Also to comment that uh, we had always invited speakers for the first day of our meetings. No, our meetings are like this one. We have two days and the first day is an open day where we try to invite people that know, uh, that had, they have uh, experience and knowledge uh, on the species that we are working with in Diversify, and that could bring some interesting information for all of us. 
So, yeah, everything is in the web. And then the third task, it was a presentation of uh, the project uh, in uh, Aqua Europe meetings. We have been present since the beginning in 2014 in San Sebastian, Spain, Rotterdam, Edinburgh, Dubrovnik, and last one in Montpellier. Especially uh, mentioned the two special sessions that we had in 2015 in Rotterdam and in Dubrovnik. It was very nice to see how the rooms uh, were getting full with people very interested to know about Diversify. In both cases, it was very grateful. In Montpellier, it was a bit special because, um, you know, Montpellier had... Uh, uh, a different organization of the sessions and so, and at the end Diversify was fitting the best in the socio-economic session. And it was quite interesting, in fact, because the, my presentation, I tried to focus really from the socio-economic part, and uh, it was uh, very, uh, yeah, very enriching, because there was another project also uh, related to socio-economic, and there were... Um, interesting things common with the two projects and a very active discussion. So we had fulfilled uh, perfectly all the presentations of the project in all these sessions. Then concerning scientific uh, um, articles and scientific production, um, the project has been presented by all of you in all these conference, uh, conferences also, uh, with oral presentations and also with posters. But uh, uh, now the fact is that we need to publish scientific articles. We are busy with that in this last year. And the articles, you can find them, of course, in the web. And they are uh, grouped according to the research area of the project. And um, we have so far 51 articles published, which is not bad. But uh, there are still quite some more in the pipeline. Where to find it? In Diversify Fish. In scientific articles, you will find that tab. You click in there. And if you are interested in the article, you just can even download the file that you are interested in. Or directly contact the author also. Then these uh, two events that I commented before, uh, these two tasks that I commented before I had that have been very interesting for, uh, for Diversify. One of them was the full day seminars on the know-how transfer, what we call the species workshops or species seminars. Since we have um, six uh, species, we did one per species, and the idea was to, to have a kind of state-of-the-art workshop where uh, we could bring all the relevant aspects of the culture of the species and the work that we were doing with them, bring it to the, to the sector, to fish farmers, fish, uh, fish um, feed producers, sorry, researchers, or anybody related uh, to the aquaculture industry. The idea was to bring the technical knowledge of uh, Diversify, and uh, also, as usual, it was open for, uh, for other people. So we also had invited speakers in these uh, species seminars. Uh, we had quite a successful uh, uh, audience, I would say, attendance. It was always between 60 and 100 people. I think 100, we never reached it, no? Yeah? yeah? 87, yeah, that's right. So, and uh, it was quite... Um, uh, successful because we saw really that the, the industry it was interested to learn about what was being done and uh, diversify with, with each one of the species. Um, then we had, uh, I think there is something, yes. We had uh, this, uh, this uh, species workshops in five different locations in Europe. The first one was Grey Mullet in uh, Italy. Then uh, we had pipe perch in France, in Nancy. Then it was wreckfish, then halibut. And the last one has been last month of October in Barcelona about meager. All of them were uh, organized in 2018. And uh, once more, we, count we counted with invited speakers that were bringing uh, their experience or their knowledge on the same species or similar species that, uh, that could be of interest for us. From each of these uh, uh, species workshops, 
There is uh, one technical manual that has been produced. Uh, the species leaders in their presentations have commented also on this. And of course, you can find all these manuals in our website. Also important to mention that these manuals are being translated to German by our Association of Fish uh, Processors in Germany and by APROMAR and AMFACO. So, and uh, there it is also uh, health manuals that are being produced. There is one of meager as in production. So everything you can find it in the website, okay? So please take your time and explore the website because there is really a huge amount of information in, in our web. Then the promotional workshops. These promotional workshops, in the beginning there was a bit of confusion and sometimes I had to clear out the difference. The species workshops were more uh, to really um, disseminate the information, the technical biological information on the species. With these promotional workshops, they were promotion for the project itself. And we included or focus a bit more on the socioeconomic part. It was uh, mostly directed to industry producers, association, purchase responsible for big supermarkets, which presence was very interesting in, in some of this um, on this, uh, of these workshops because they, they give uh, the picture of the reality. I mean, when you have someone that is responsible for uh, fish supply and the one that is uh, buying different type of fish or the one that is deciding what type of fish are we going to sell in our chain of 60 hypermarkets, it's really interesting to know their opinion when you talk about new species. So it was quite uh, fruitful to count with them in our, uh, in our uh, promotional workshops. The first one was organized in Germany, always in collaboration with the association uh, uh, of the country. In this case, it was, again, the Fish, Produce, uh, Fish Processors Association. The second one was uh, in Spain, in Cadiz. The third one was in Verona, Italy, with the help of uh, APROMAR, that was uh, organizing together with the Aquaculture Association of Fish Producers. They don't belong to the consortium, but they were really helpful and facilitating the things very much and contacting the, um, the industry there. And the fourth one was in Athens in, uh, in July, which we organized with the Greek Federation of Mariculture. And uh, there were quite some representation of the, of the industry, of the aquaculture industry there. Um, in, this, uh, in these workshops, we had the chance to uh, have degustations. And uh, Louise and me, we were preparing their products eh, to give to test to the, to the audience. And the, and the two products that we decided to bring were the safest one. I mean, products that you can prepare, that they can stand safe for uh, quite uh, a number of weeks that could be shipped in a, in a box and then sent without any problem and that it could be safe from the, for the consumer. So I have to say that in general they were very appreciated so and uh, everything was finished uh, quite quite fast. So once more all the presentations from this, uh, from these workshops they are available in the website. Then dissemination to the food industry and consumers. This is something that uh, we started from the beginning with the people from the consortium. Here in 2013, we started with one article, dedicated article that EUFIC was uh, producing and posting in their, in their website. Also in 2014, our web is linked also to the website of uh, EUFIC. Then uh, APROMAR, Javier Ojeda and, uh, and Aldo were participating in Aqua Regional 2014, Matthias uh, in Aqua Roundtable in 2015, Eurotir in Seafood Brussels, we have been present also. 2016, it was with the stand of uh, APROMAR with uh, Javier Ojeda in 17, 2017. We were at the stand of the European Commission with our folders. The people were coming there and asking questions and 
questions like, but do you really think that we need more fish? Why do we need to produce more fish? The fish are eating fish meal, too, too, too. And we started quite some discussion there. It was, uh, it was interesting. Then uh, also in 2016, uh, Dinos was presenting in the Offshore Mariculture Conference in Barcelona. And Faco Secopesca and the Fair of Conchemar 2017 also had uh, the folders and the information of Diversify. We had contact with Trafon. This is a, a project uh, that is networking uh, for food producers. We have uh, an agreement, a collaboration agreement from the very beginning of the project with the Association of International Seafood Professionals. We have also linked our webs. We have a publication in Aquafit International about our project. And uh, this uh, article has been translated to Spanish by Apromart, to German by BEBFI. Uh, and uh, our Hungarian association has translating, uh, translated the special extended article in Aquaculture Euro magazine to uh, Hungarian, and uh, it's also uploaded in, uh, in the web. And we had uh, uh, an article, a dedicated article, in the magazine, Impact magazine, in January 20, uh, 2017. And just to finish, of course, we are present in, in Twitter and Facebook. And uh, OK, we have 465 followers, which is uh, not bad. Huh? As I said before, probably this Beyoncé or any of the singers will have uh, millions. But for us, as a project, we are quite happy with this. And this has been possible thanks to all of you, really. Thank you. OK, thank you, Rocio. Yeah. I don't know if you have any questions. I'd like to also emphasize that it's very important um, to have uh, this dissemination uh, remain active. OK, I think we did well so far. And we try to, uh, uh, to let the people know about who we are and what we do. Uh, I think it's becoming uh, more important now to, uh, to disseminate what we have achieved and, and make sure that it's implemented to the extent that it's possible. So I encourage you all these technical manuals and the health manuals uh, to, be, uh, to release them, to send them to people that you know, farmers, um, contacts, uh, your own list through the association so that we can uh, try to have this information as much as possible used by the, uh, the stakeholders. And uh, this is one aspect of it. The other aspect of it is uh, we want to maintain the interest for diversification, uh, for uh, the potential uh, opening of a new call. Uh, in a few years, so this will help us if we are active, if people are looking into the site, if we prove that the, uh, the visits are, are high and the people are taking up our knowledge and they're using it and, and things are moving along, uh, I think it will help in having uh, more, one more or maybe, maybe different calls for different diversification, maybe one call for MIGER or one for call for uh, uh, Amberjack, why are there calls for uh, Seabrim and Seba still 20 years afterwards? There's, uh, there's never going to be an end for the research, so maybe the next call is not going to be diversification, it's going to be an amberjack or it's going to be a meager. So we should be prepared for that, and not only prepared, but we should be lobbying for it, we should be pushing for it, and this is one, one way I believe that we should do that. Well, uh, for me it was uh, really very important to see with the species workshops that the people from the industry is really looking to the web of the project and they are following what is being done with the project. So that means that it's interesting for them. So we, keep, you sh we should keep this active. I also get the uh, comments that uh, hey, this is probably the, the only EU project that has some inter in influence in, uh, in the way we do our work. So apparently some things are, are useful. Uh, hopefully more people will realize that and more information will become uh, uh, useful and implemented. Okay, yeah, Luis and then Emma. Yeah, Rocio, um, how, how long is going to be the website active or open? I had that in my presentation for tomorrow, but uh, anyway, I can answer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, did, you did the, you did the same, same with my with presentation. You? So. <laughs> 
Yeah, but the idea is to keep it active uh, at least for four years or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it active. We'll keep it open for sure. I was wondering whether you have about this project also contacts with your local governments, because my local, the, the people at the Dutch ministry are very interested in Diversify, and we keep contacts with them. So, yeah, I don't know whether the Greek or the Spanish governments are also interested, and if an international EU project is probably uh, possible, not possible, it could be a pan-European with local governments as well, uh, as an option. Yeah, are there, I mean, what kind of funding uh, could be available? I'm not aware of anything like this. No, no, but if local governments have the money, and bring in money, then you could make a project with uh, local governments. We have, ah, okay, yeah, this, we this have uh, local governments with, uh, sub with money. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to react or whether they want to give additional money yeah, yeah, for yeah. additional work, no, okay, but no, I'm I in contact with yeah. them. No, we have been also, in fact, in the, uh, uh, in the Amberjack uh, 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 workshop, we had invited people from the funding authorities in Greece and they were very happy to, to come and listen and they were very excited. And in fact, uh, there are projects. Nikos Papandroulakis has a project that is running now, a new project on Amberjack. Some other colleagues from uh, our institute are having an Amberjack project funded. So national funding, as I was uh, uh, saying to some people to, today, is a good idea of following up Diversify and covering the gap between you know, this one and whatever continuation will be. So there is interest from, at least in, in our country, I'm sure in Spain there's also interest because there's also in Spain a, a, an Amberjack uh, um, project that is running, okay? And I know that some colleagues have submitted uh, other pro uh, uh, proposals for uh, MIGRA and for uh, Grey Mallet. So yes, this is possible. But as far as a, a, a concerted action between governments, I, I, I don't know if it's a possibility. Yes, Fatima. Uh, now, uh, a proposal, no, uh, um, um, a project uh, approval by the local government of Galicia for uh, development Rec of fish. the work fish. Yes. Excellent, very good. Okay. So it's okay. Yes, Mr. Zambukas. Thank you, Dinos, and congratulations for this uh, day. Uh, I'm very happy that the Netherlands and also Greece uh, thought also about other funding streams, except of Horizon. Just to remind you that uh, Horizon is only something like 10 or 50 percent of the funding that goes to marine science in Europe. So the bulk of the money is managed by your member states. So it, first you should look there and then consider again Horizon or Horizon Europe what will be in the future. And uh, just to let you know that uh, very soon, most probably, a new ERANET, an ERANET co-fund will start, and many of uh, your member states are going to participate. Uh, an ERANET is a scheme where member states, uh, funding agencies put the money, and the commission is adding in order to have one co-funded call and several calls funded by without the commission support and you might consider uh, speaking with your funding uh, authorities in your countries to possibly include uh, follow-up issues from diversify uh, in topics of common interest under the ERANET. so this is also in a, a cooperation international scheme there's also gpi oceans uh, where most of your member states participate and they also have common projects so uh, please consider also these possibilities. Thank you. In fact, the, the two projects that I was uh, uh, mentioning from Greece are from the Fisheries Fund. So it's money that uh, comes to Greece through the Fisheries Fund, and it's part of the research that they're funding. Yes, Alexandra. Yeah, uh, Alexandra Nates from the European Aquaculture Technology and Innovation Platform. I just want to mention that uh, under the technology platform, we have a lot of established mirror platforms or clusters. So I would want to say if, if there are some national initiatives that would be of interest cross-regional, then it, we can also facilitate 
communication between the, na the nations. I mean, we don't provide really money to do so, but we can facilitate as an organization, a European organization, to put those uh, national initiatives that are linked to some mirror platforms together and exchange knowledge, best practice, etc. I think that would be a very beneficial way to do so, to coordinate it on a European level. Yeah, I would just say that I think it's been, in, for me, see, industry and practical point of view, I think it's been a very, very useful program with where they really cover things that people farming fish need to know about doing their job. So I think it would be a lot of the information I heard today would be useful for everyone involved in any of these species and maybe even other species. So I think the only, I can see the problem is it's for only five years. It's obvious to me from my look on what we've done in Norway and been involved in the other species, it takes time to develop an industry. But I think it's a very good start. So I would hope that the, the next step, of course you include genetics, so we can, uh, as you all know, and also how to get here around spawning. I think you know what should be done next, but also in, include juvenile production in RAS and the uh, integrated pest management, as we have seen certainly with cage culture, that would be essential for the success of producing the fish, some of the fish commercially. So it have been very useful, I think. And uh, but what shouldn't be forgot is that if you want to commercialize this, we have not heard about a lot of marketing of the products, but very little about how to finance. If someone wants to start operations, how do they finance this? And I can tell you, we in European Aquaculture Society plan at our meeting next year in Berlin in October to have a session on um, innovation in aquaculture. And I think some of what you have presented here could be very useful in that session, but then you also need someone who wants to use it as a startup or being involved and get funding from investors should be present. The business model and the market strategy work is really uh, finalizing now. So okay. for next year, for sure, this is going to be finished, ready, and uh, available for discussion, dissemination, and everything. So it's a good idea that uh, in the next uh, meeting, maybe we can uh, be there with our socioeconomic results. Yeah, and I reports. think that would be very useful. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. And Thank then you. I'd like to wish you all the best for the next projects, and then you have to ask for 10-year funding and not only five. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the recommendation. Well, you know, five years was quite long for EU projects. Yeah, it was I the know. first time that I had an EU project for five years. Usually my, my longest was three. I don't know if there were five-year projects before. So it was quite, I think, on, on behalf of the uh, commission, it was quite thoughtful to allow such a long period of time because it was very, very important. As you saw from the, the wreckfish, the, we got these results uh, this year. Mm -hmm.